In the midst of the remake frenzy of the last decade, many have failed in popular opinion to hold up as a faithful remake or to even work as a film, but arguably none have tried and failed as much as the Texas Chainsaw Theories, boasting a record of three total different quote-unquote remakes. Yeah, I know Beginning was an origin story and 3D is supposedly a direct sequel to the original, but both of them try to remake this story in a predated setting or a modern setting. So yeah, remake. Back to the point, this series has had issues getting itself going in the modern century. That being said, I li like most remakes. Namely, all of the big names, and I'm on Elm Street, Friday the 13th, Halloween, and Texas Chainsaw. Yes, I like all of those remakes. They're not perfect, but I like all of them. I always give them a fair chance and their time in the sun. So, is Texas Chainsaw 3D a good remake slash sequel? Yes. A good film? Mm, not really. Now, I feel this film would, would have been held as one of the better remakes if the creators weren't so hell-bent on two things. So, 3D and making this a modern version of the story. I'll elaborate on those problems later. But first, let me clear up on some easy good things. Uh, they're, it's easy. Um, they work. The acting is decent. Alexandra Daddario is pretty good, and she's really good to look at. Also, Dan Yeager's Leatherface is great. He's extremely threatening and imposing. Pretty freaky stuff. Everyone else is fine. I mean, they do their jobs, but they don't really do that much more. The film is shot beautifully. All the colors pop, and there's some awesome and just downright creepy imagery. Another positive is this film moves quickly, making it a fun popcorn watch. It succeeds very well in that, right? The effects are great. Well, except this one. But other than that clip, the effects are all great and almost all practical. There's a lot of passion in this film, shown in the special features. But those two things I mentioned earlier weigh extremely heavily on this film's overall quality and credibility. Uh, I'm going to talk about those now. The 3D is good in the aspect that it's barely in the movie. They spent so much time and effort in incorporating the 3D, but it's barely there. Time would have been better spent into establishing or better off figuring out a better way to use the setting. You see, they desperately wanted to make a modern remake so badly they willingly overlooked all of the continuity errors. Our main character should be in her mid-30s for one. They were literally aware of these errors and ignored them anyway. A better way to avoid all of this is to scrap the sequel idea altogether. I mean, it doesn't really play any major part in the story. Or they could set it in the 90s. This movie isn't modern anyway. Hell, the only thing that's modern about it is a cop uses a smartphone once. You ruined your movie for some dumb Skype scene. You ruined credibility over your franchise to use Skype. The scene in which the smartphone is used would have been better on a 90s mobile call anyway. It would have built suspense much better. That being said, um... This movie is kind of nostalgic for me. This is one of my first Blu-rays. Uh, I've wanted to I wanted to see it ever since it came out, little 13-year-old me. And I didn't get to see it. Uh, so we went bowling one day. We used to be super into bowling for whatever reason. And my dad's like, fine, if you win this, I'll buy you this movie. And he doubled the stakes and he's like, but if I win, you don't get your allowance and you don't get the movie. And I won, and I was really super excited, uh, and I liked it a lot then. Little 13-year-old me thought it was amazing. But that aside, they missed a really promising shot at a remake. This had many good things, but it had two flaws that you can't see past. So Texas Chainsaw 3D gets a 6 out of 10. All that being said, I hope the scheduled Leatherface prequel is in this universe with Dan Yeager as Leatherface. I also hope it's good. Hope you guys enjoyed this review and tune in tomorrow for day 3 of Halloween in which I'll be reviewing Odd Thomas. See you guys then.